What's up, big baby? It's your boy Clifton Simmons here with YBSA Skits and Giggles. We got Finesse Mitchell in the building. What up, though? Clifton, how down? you doing, man? Happy Fun weekend you. with you, man. Hey, uh, man. Down here in San Antonio, Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club. Well, you was a witness. You saw the crowds. You saw the laughter. Saw me do my thing. Man, you're doing your thing right now. I see you on the daytime television. Yes, sir. Got everybody going nuts. I, uh, I seen you on Bethany. My favorite episode was when you got, the, got on that dude with the red pants. Nobody's supposed to be wearing red pants between the months of September and December for Santa Claus. Man. Uh, Nobody should be wearing red pants. SNL, uh, how did you get SNL? Like, SNL was just one of those things that came about where, you know, time, I always tell people timing is everything in this business. So luckily, I was really funny at a time when Tracy Morgan was leaving the show and they was looking for the new black guy. Okay. And so that's basically what happened. My ear was to the ground. I was always out in the street as a young comic, always hanging out to comedy clubs. And I heard somebody say, yo, they're looking for the Tracy Morgan leaving. They're looking for the new black guy. And I was like, I'm black. He was like, yeah, for now, send the tape in, man. Send the tape in. So next thing I know, I sent my tape in, and SNL uh, invited me to audition. And after 50 black people later, wow. they picked me, Keenan, and a guy named JB Smooth. Now those cats okay. are doing really good right uh, now. Yeah. Um, what were you doing before comedy? Like, I know you was on BET. Mm -hmm. Comic View, but like, what was your job? Like, what was your daytime job? I was a, a an insurance time. guy. So I sold me Medicare insurance. I sold, uh, I worked for Allstate for a little while. And then in South Florida, I worked for Humana. So, you know, I got into the financial services game. I would come into people's houses, sit across the kitchen table, explaining them life insurance and all that type of stuff. And then when I switched into the Medicare game, sitting across from seniors, it would get so funny sometimes because, you know, I'd be this black young kid into their, you know, these homes of these 70 somethings and they're looking at you like, you know, you really work for this company. But then, you yeah. know, after the presentation, they, you, they warm up. I started throwing jokes at them. They'd be laughing. And then they would say funny stuff that would make me want to remember it and then tell it on stage at night at different comedy clubs. So. Uh -huh. Now, what I like about what I like about you is you have a you don't have just one set audience. You got right. it's a mixed audience, not just straight black, not just straight Mexican. Uh, you got right. white people in your right. crowd, like uh, coming from Saturday Night Live, where it's uh -huh. kind of dirty, uh -huh. to Disney right. and Farm. Do you see where you're getting different? Well, I've always wanted to be mainstream, so I always tell comics, especially the young cats that's out there, the advice I will always give you is. You know, be broad. Don't pigeonhole yourself with curse words. Don't pigeonhole yourself with the N-word. And don't pigeonhole yourself with calling women the B-word. And that's your whole act. Because then you turn off so many groups and you can't really take that act to TV unless it's a cable show. So the best way to be known in your career is to have five to ten minutes of clean material. And then when somebody sees you, they, can, they say, hey, can you do that on television? Before you know it, you got a TV set. And that's when you can get on Arsenio Hall or Jay Leno or Jimmy Fallon because they're always having comics on at the end of the show. Even Comic View and places like on BET, you can't be cursing all the time. So you got to be clever with it. And most importantly, be original. No joke thieves. Already. Um what do you got coming out for 2014? Man, that is a long list. Uh, let me see. Uh, number one, I have, no. Um, let me see, BET Centric. I'm hosting a new show on Centric called According to Him and Her. check it out. That's coming out on March, uh, in March. So make sure y'all check that out. It's gonna be funny. It's a whole bunch of comics getting together talking about relationships, marriages, sex, and anything that got anything to do with he say, she say type of stuff. Then on the Game Show Network, I'd be coming out with a show called Who's the Imposter? And that is a show where a person will come and live with a family for over, you know, for, for a weekend. And at the end of the weekend, the person has to figure out who in that family is not related to anybody. So the show is called Who's the Imposter? And it's, it's really good. And um, I look forward to that. As my, I want to give a shout out to my man D-Ray Davis, who's already on the Game Show Network with a show okay. called Mind of a Man. So y'all make sure y'all watch that. And then in 2014, a movie will be coming out called Barely Lethal, starring Samuel Jackson and Jessica Alba. So oh, I'm in that, right. doing a little cameo. And then I have something that's popping off maybe on ABC or NBC, we'll know in about six months. Thank you so much for your time, bro. Absolutely. Can't wait to see you next year. Absolutely. Keep doing your thing on TV. Hey, all you young folks out there, especially all you young black folks, you know, stay out them streets when you're supposed to be. You know, make great decisions. One bad decision can change the rest of your life forever. So use your head. Follow me on Twitter, at Finesse Mitchell, Instagram, Finesse Mitchell, and my website, FinesseMitchell.com. I'm out. YBSA, Skits and Giggles, thank you.